All right, now at seven, we're sharing the hidden gems and treasures of our state on the CT winter bucket list destination of the day. As the phone is going off somewhere, Matt. <laughs> This morning, we're heading to the New England Air Museum in Windsor Locks. Margot Farrell is there. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Tim. Good morning, Ashley. Matt, put that phone on silent in the background. We are so excited to be back here at the New England Air Museum. Keith and I came here on our bucket list road trip. If you remember the RV road trip, take a look. I mean, we are just surrounded by so many different aircrafts that all have so much history behind them. But the cool thing is, is that even though I've already been to the museum, it's always expanding. It's always changing. We've got Richard here telling us a little bit about a new exhibit, something that you helped partner with the New England Air Museum to bring to life. Thank you, Margo. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, absolutely. We partnered with our good friends at the New England Air Museum on a project to enhance the command uh, exhibit here at the, uh, at the museum. This was a project that took about nine months to complete. And the big challenge for us was to use digital technologies to be able to enhance what was already a wonderful exhibit with a lot of special aircraft and uh, artifacts. We used three different types of digital technology, one of which Debbie is displaying right now as you're, as you're seeing. This is an interactive kiosk. The kiosk basically functions like a big iPad. It uh, takes really no technology understanding to be able to use it. A little something for everybody. As you see, she's actually building one of the helicopters. If she completes it, it will fly away. <laughs> we also have the ability for people to walk up and get stories from the museum's many docents that tell stories about Charles Command, his incredible life, and all the different innovations that he has. Uh, a lot of people don't realize Charles Command, uh, his reach went much further than aviation. Uh, he was involved with uh, working with the uh, sight impaired, vision impaired folks, created a company called Fidelco uh, for guide dogs, and also he was heavily involved in music, creating uh, the company that uh, creates uh, ovation uh, guitars. Very, so, very interesting. Yeah. So we see Debbie here taking yeah. advantage of that interactive map. We know we also see behind us, there's another kind of virtual experience. What is that area over there? So that is, uh, uh, again, this is a, a very interactive display, but it's very passive in the sense that, again, you have to have no technology background. You simply walk up, it's a 3D holographic display. And what it's using is three different rotors uh, that have uh, four blades each. Uh, without getting technical, the blades have LEDs embedded in them, and that allows us to be able to take custom content that we created for the museum, tell a story with an audio narration. So this particular unit uh, really needs to be seen in person to be uh, to be appreciated. So certainly I would uh, invite everybody to come on down and see the, the museum and the display in person. I was going to say, in, mm -hmm. you know, the pictures never do it justice, neither do the videos. Uh, Debbie's having a good time over there. We appreciate her showing us how to handle that board. Stick around, though, if you think that this is the coolest new addition. It's not. There's a whole new technical aspect, something you download straight to your phone, just like the Fox 61 News app, which I know all of you at home have right now. So we will be talking about that and so much more about what this museum has to offer throughout the morning. For now, that is the latest here in Windsor. I'm Margot Farrell, Fox 61 News.